let's uh, get some reaction now on the decisions, and that is to dissolve some PECs of the African National Congress, the ANC's National Working Committee, uh, resolving to dissolve the provincial executive committees in Bumalanga and the Eastern Cape. The party says the provincial task teams must be appointed uh, to fulfill the functions of the PEC. Last month, in the Western Cape, the ANC dissolved its Dala Omar region after it could not pr prove uh, to be uh, ready to hold its regional conference in March. I'm joined now by the ANC's Bumalanga uh, secretary, that's uh, Lindy We Njalinjali, and we're also joined by the ANC Western Cape spokesperson, uh, that's uh, Sifiso Mtweni. To both of you, thank you very much for your time. Ms. Njalinjali, uh, I suspect your position may have changed slightly in that that structure which you previously uh, led is now dissolved uh, your reaction to this decision uh, thank you very much Polly. let me greet yourself and your viewers at home the 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 decision of the nwc to put a test team in bumalanga as per the rule 12.24 uh, to say our term of office has lapsed, therefore, if uh, we exceeded our grace period, therefore, they had to put, after three months, they had to put a, a PTT. Mm. Uh, where we are, we have received, we must confirm that we have received that communique from the Treasurer General's office on behalf of the SGO mm -hmm. that our PC has been dissolved and now we are, we are appointed as PTT. Yeah. Comrade Mandrandov, who was the acting chair, now is the convener. I was the acting provincial secretary, now I'm a coordinator. It means uh, it's, it's still the same because uh, the letter at the end, it says we resume the functions of the PEC and make sure that we take our structure to the conference. And where we are as Bumalanga PEC, we've also received our preliminary report where we, we, we are 299 branches in terms of readiness and our threshold to conference is uh, 280. So we've surpassed the, the, the threshold and we're ready to move to go to conference. And members of the uh, directly elected PC were appointed to be part of the trust team so that the structure take itself to conference. Yeah, Mr. Mtweni, uh, you are in George and uh, you are going to talk to us about the reasons which led to the Dala Omar region also um, basically uh, falling the same fate as Mpumalanga yesterday. Explain to us what the issues were there. Well, good morning, Koli uh, and uh, your viewers. Indeed, uh, the Western Cape Interim Provincial Committee uh, in December last year after elections made an assessment of the elections outcome and uh, as well as made an assessment of the strength of our structures on the ground. Mm. But uh, most importantly, as a structure that has been appointed to renew the organization in the Western Cape, tasked the regions uh, to start putting in place processes towards uh, holding regional conferences. Yeah. Uh, last month, we had a meeting where uh, mm -hmm. we've now assessed all the regions and uh, we, we can confidently say that 80% uh, of our regions are ready to go to conference. Uh, unfortunately, the Dala Omar region, in our own assessment, was the only region that was uh, lacking behind, and therefore we took a decision to dissolve that uh, regional executive committee and put in place a conference preparatory team that will ensure that the biggest region in the province uh, actually goes to conference. Yeah. Uh, Ms. Njanjali, let's come back to you. An observer who I suppose would be uh, watching the space in Bumalanga very closely would look at this decision to say we're dissolving the leadership structure in Bumalanga, but the very same people at the helm of this party, particularly the top five positions like yourself, you were the secretary, now you are the coordinator, which basically is the same thing. The acting chairperson, Mandanjovu, is now convener. That basically means the same thing. They might say that it's actually a futile exercise because you have failed to take this province to conference. In fact, to use the words of 
one of the people who are hoping to lead that province, uh, who came to our studios yesterday, Peter Nyoni, he referred to your leadership as being, quote-unquote, delinquents who have no vision whatsoever. How do you respond to that? Let me start by correcting that we have failed to take ourselves to conference because as the province of Mpumalanga, when the chairperson and the deputy chairperson were elected to the National Executive Committee, which our chairperson was elected as deputy president, we were prepared to go to PGC. But there was an NEC decision that said all provinces must not go to conferences or PGCs. They must focus on the upcoming provincial and national elections. That was the decision of the NEC. Immediately after that, there was some violence when we continued with our BGMs in Etlanzeni, especially in Gomaze and Bombela, where national office descended, led by the DSG and the organizing to deal with those violent matters. We had to suspend our meetings. Hmm. Immediately after that, we resumed and isolated the violent uh, subregion, which was Gomaze. And where we are, after that, immediately there was a hard lockdown where a, a political gatherings were prohibited almost for two years, hmm. and there's nothing we could do to take ourselves to conference. There was an NEC decision that also provinces, leagues, and regions who were supposed to go to conference must uh, uh, suspend their activities and focusing on the local government election after the president has announced. So it is um, being a... a, a, a premature to say we have failed and Peter Nyoni has been beaten hands down from his own branch not being able to elect to be elected and in our former PEC he was expelled from the PEC so it will be very wrong for him to be to want to be uh, elected using the media platform and we are not happy about that but as the office of the coordinator we shall write to him so that we deal with that behavior because we have organizational protocol where uh, and how and who must communicate on behalf of the movement. As I move on to Sfiso, very briefly, uh, Ms. Njalinjali, so uh, Sfiso 20, for example, talks about uh, regions being at 80% ready to be taken to conferences. What, how would you describe the state of readiness for the province of Mbumalanga to go to this long-awaited conference? In fact, you were meant to hold it last month. Are you Let there, Let me Ms. confirm Ganja? that uh, we were supposed to hold it last month, and now uh, we have our rep roadmap reviewed from 11 to 13 March. We have planned to sit. All our branches are ready. Tonight we are having a meeting with the organizing, and our conference where we are, we shall proceed and sit. My apology for the background, because I'm attending a funeral, of Comrade Manja Mabuza, who used to work with Comrade Khalil. No problem at all. Thank you very much. All right, let's uh, ask you to stay on. Uh, Mr. Mtweni, let's uh, wrap up the conversation. So you've stated the state of readiness of the regions being at 80%. What about the province itself? Uh, surely you, uh, you've got to hold a provincial conference ahead of the all-important national conference in December. How ready are you? Well, indeed, uh, Koli, we will be holding a provincial conference. Um, you do you remember that, in fact, in the Western Cape, um, an interim provincial leadership was put in place, um, uh, and the, the, the mandate was to ensure that uh, we take the province to conference. We are taking it to conference. But the process preceding that is that regions must go to conference. Now, part of the reasons why we had to look at Dala Omar in particular is because Dala Omar is the biggest region in the province, uh, and therefore we had to speed up the process of ensuring that uh, a recruitment of membership is done. And uh, we can confidently say that uh, from this weekend, where branch general meetings will be taking place across the province, uh, we are close to the 70% that uh, we need for branches to hold a provincial conference. And uh, according to our own roadmap, uh, by, by the end of April, we should be ready to, to, to hold the, the provincial conference. Spisom Tweni, uh, the spokesperson for the ANC in the Western Cape. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, Ms. Njalinjali, Lindy Njalinjali, uh, the ANC's coordinator in the province of Bumalanga. Let me thank you as well for your time.